Um, we do yoga practice to have these experiences, especially the experience of bliss, mm -hmm. to have the experience of non-dual mm -hmm. experiences. That, could we say that? You can put it like that, or you can also say a beginning of um, stopping the cycle of illusion. Stopping the cycle of illusion. illusion yes. Okay. Because like in, like in the West, everybody talks about the dream yoga. Yeah. Everybody talks about the bardo experience. I had the bardo-like experience. Mm -hmm. And um, everybody talks about the dream yoga. Everybody talks about emptiness. I have no disagreement with you. Yeah. But only way to, one of the way, let's say, one of the way to achieve all of that is to conquer your body and mind first. Without conquering the body and mind first, you cannot achieve none of it. All that is imagination, a beautiful imagination. There's nothing wrong with it. You have aspiration to practice all of it. There's nothing wrong with it. But if you want to practice bardo, you have to conquer that state of mind as a dream yoga. Yeah. In order to develop the dream yoga, you need to develop the illusionary body and mind experience. If you want to experience the illusionary body and mind, it doesn't mean that you become delusional. Okay? There's a big distinction between becoming a delusional mm. and recognizing everything as it is, as a relative truth. Mm. Right? And, but in order to recognize that strength of the mind, that, that form of clarity, to recognize the illusionary body and mind, you need to practice dhumma. Yeah. The yoga, yeah. the heat generating practice, the physical and the mental combined together with all the potential gathering together. So the yoga practice supports the tumor practice, the inner fire practice, which supports your, um, you know, touch in touch with the illusory sort of body, yes. which helps you with your dream yoga. Exactly. Which, without which you cannot really do bardo yoga, right? No, you yeah. cannot. So bardo yoga, because the very existence of the bardo is projection of thoughts that is beyond our control. Mm -hmm. And that is a very cause of the suffering of the bardo. And not just wake, not waking up from it, mm -hmm. but also not having the awareness of whatever we are projecting. Mm -hmm. Like an example, a person who has a great traumatic experience will never be in peace instantly after that he or she gone through an extreme traumatic experience. They will live in that memory again and again, again and again. And every decision they make will relate to the traumatic experience they had. Mm -hmm. Right? So that is, that is in our physical level of experience that we can admit, at least. And then, like an example in a dream, you know, at least we can say, ah, that was a bad dream. Yeah. That wasn't real. Mm -hmm. But in the state of the bardo, you don't have a choice mm -hmm. at that stage. You don't say, I have a traumatic experience. At that stage, it's no longer a traumatic experience. It's mm -hmm. just a, the body doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. But you still have all the projection of fears and... Uh, on different unpleasant things, mm -hmm. you know, to summarize. But in order to relate to that bardo experience, you need to experience the dream yoga. Mm -hmm. Because in the stage of the dream yoga, in the, all the elements, sa, chu, me, lung, yeah. you know, the dissolving stage is exactly the same as the, the bardo stage when we enter the death. But the only difference is that the pace is different. In the state of the dream, we do not see the, the mother nature clear light. In the state of the bardo, we see the mother nature clear light. So in the state of the, the dream, we just don't see the mother nature clear light. But other than that, all the element, we are able to witness it if we have a subtle awareness. Mm -hmm. you know? So in order to develop that subtle awareness, you need to develop non-fixated, <laughs> non-fixated uh, to all the different kind of attraction, lust, mm -hmm. all that kind of things from the, the world of senses. Right? Because if you are in very much overwhelmed by a world of senses, let alone the clarity, you cannot even have time to meditate. Yeah. You know? By saying that, it doesn't mean I have conquered my mind. Mm -hmm. okay? I'm still struggling. Mm -hmm. uh, so just to be clear, just because I share my experience doesn't mean that I've achieved it. Mm -hmm. So I know a little bit in terms of experience.